Hello, party people. It is Will Pemble. That is John Elliott. Today, we are going to turn a tubing roller, a portable pipe threading machine, and some other bits and pieces into a mechanical... A, what are we making? A motorized pipe bender. Motorized pipe bender, because we got a lot of pipe to bend, so we're gonna build a motorized pipe bender. We're gonna cobble together some crazy stuff. Here's a look at that. All right, so this is the pipe bender that came via the mail, as is. But it is not meant to be motorized as is. Therefore, we're gonna take it apart and make a Frankenstein contraption out of it, but it's gonna be awesome. These are a bunch of bits and pieces that we're gonna to use to attach to this. We got this from a kit from a company called Swag Off-Road, and I think they're in Oregon. Swag stands for scientific wild ass guess. So we're gonna take these little bits and pieces, attach them to our tubing bender, and then other stuff, and it's gonna be amazing. But this is where we're gonna start with all of that. We're also gonna need this awesome four-ton bottle jack. All of this stuff, by the way, just comes from your local tool store or you can get it online. Smooth. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna take these little pieces that came out of the kit and turn them into these kind of little pieces. And we wanna do that by clamping them together and then just tack welding them right in these four little corners here. And welding is fun. Those are those. Awesome. I think they're still a little hot. I think I'm not gonna touch them. Yeah, don't touch them for some time. But isn't that beautiful, just how that kit comes together? Super strong, super fine. I don't know if my welding instructor on YouTube would approve, but I feel happy about this. Here we are, here's our big old pipe bender. Here's the hydraulic bottle jack that's built right into the top. There are springs that hold it up and then you pump to make the wheel go down. See, that's how that works. There's the three rollers. Now, the really cool part comes over here. This, this little wheel this little wheel or big wheel used to be the thing that would that was meant to be used. So you'd use that wheel to turn the thing. What we've done instead is Frankenstein the thing so that we can take this little portable pipe threader, which has a two and a half horsepower motor, which is a ball or strong motor, and that will turn the shaft 
which turns the wheel, which helps to feed the tubing through the pipe threader. And this is the very first time we're gonna turn it on. What do you think, John boy? Oh my. <laughs> do we need to like bend some tubing just because we need to bend some tubing? We have to. If we don't, I don't think we're worthy of this. Yep. All right. So we're going to set up and bend some tubing now. So here we go. This is just a little test piece of pipe. One of the things we got going here, and this may be good or bad news for the coaster, is this tubing bender comes with a one and a half inch die but it doesn't come with a one and a quarter and so we're probably going to go to one and a half inch pipe for the coaster so now we've got our tubing fit in here go for it john we're going to tighten it down all right that's about right snug now you're going to have to get good at moving you're going to have to get good at directing the machine like instantly so um Either that or we keep feeding it through the same way. Over. No, 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 no. no, no you're going to no. feed it through. You're going to like... I'm going to stop it before it gets to the end. Stop it before it gets to the end. Give it a little crank. Back it, it back, up. Stop it before it gets to the end. Yep. Over. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Which direction is it going right now? I just uh, don't know. I don't know which way it's going first. Wrong way. Stop. Stop. All right. <laughs> All right. Stop there. All right. Give it another whirl. What we got is, this is one and a quarter inch pipe. We're using one and a half inch dies. And so if you if you look close at the pipe, you'll see that it's a little bit flattened out from where we, uh, from what we would want. So we're gonna upgrade the track and use one and a half inch pipe on the track instead of one and a quarter because these dies are really, really expensive. More expensive than uh, the little bit thicker pipe. And the coaster will be more awesome because of it. The whole thing, the tubing roller out of the box, the pipe threader, the bottle jack, all of that, and the kit, these little big, these little pieces uh, from the awesome guys at Swag Off-Road, all of this just cost less than 500 bucks. So you can have a motorized tubing roller for less than 500 bucks. And if you're doing crazy projects like a coaster in your backyard, you totally want that sort of machine. So. That's all we have time for today. As you can see, it's dark. I'm sure the neighbors really liked listening to the machine this time of day. Thank you. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Thank you for helping us bring physics, family, and fun to kids everywhere. I am Will Pemble. That is John Elliott, and we will see you soon.